Hi guys, the next video is starting the boats after a long winter. After we winterized them last fall, I winterized the Mercury and the Honda. Now the Honda, we didn't fog it because Honda re doesn't recommend you don't um, for that engine. You do not fog that engine. Um, so it's pretty easy to winterize that one. Change the lower unit oil, change the motor oil. And I didn't have a lot of hours on it last year, so we didn't change the motor oil. Um, the Mercury, we fogged. And I've debated on whether or not to make this video, but I think um, it's important because, first of all, there's some of my higher view videos, and I, I think the follow-up isn't a bad thing. But in particular, I had at least one person leave some pretty negative comments, uh, name-calling, you know, foul language, how stupid I was for doing this wrong and that wrong, and ruined the engine, and caused more damage than good, and all kinds of stuff. And, and I'm okay with people commenting that, I mean, that's the whole point is to get feedback and learn better ways and new ways and different tricks. And I'm okay with, with people chiming in that way. But I thought if this guy left the video and was that angry about it, that there were probably some other people that were just more polite and thought, well, he didn't do a very good job. He might have caused damage to his engine. Well, this clearly will show you the engine starts right up. In fact, it actually, if you go back to the video when we winterized it, you can hear the motor runs kind of rough. And I'm not claiming that fogging it made it run smooth, but I think pulling the plug wires off and putting, messing with the plugs, put the, the plug wires back on, did something. I think there might have been a loose plug wire that was causing it to run a little rough. Um, the last time this was fogged, winterized and fogged, I took it to a shop and had it done. So, um, you know, uh, I'm not saying the mechanic did something wrong. It's a reputable shop in that area. I just, the certified mercury shop, all that stuff. I just, it's possible something didn't get quite pushed on tight and maybe that's why it was running rough. But you can see a clear difference, or hear a clear difference in how the, the engine's running compared to last fall when we winterized it. And I'm not claiming that the fogging again did that, but maybe something with the spark plugs. Had I not gone in and fogged it, I'd still have that rougher running engine. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased that it started up better than it has for a couple of years. Normally it takes a little pretty cold, uh, blooded, and takes a little bit to get going. <coughs> I have to set the throttle up, uh, the choke throttle up, and, and, and get it revved pretty high for a short time to warm it up before it'll run steady. Now, it was rough, but it would keep running eventually. Well, if you'll see in this video that, like I said, it runs pretty smooth and the throttle is pulled all the way back and it's just on idle and it's running really well. Um, and if you've watched a couple of my videos you'll see that the whole point of me making the videos is just to show people not to be afraid to try something. Um, if I thought I was going to do more damage than good by doing what I did, I wouldn't have done it. Um, it you think about what you're spraying in there, it's combustible, I'm guessing it's an oil base, maybe some wax in it, I don't know, but the whole idea is to coat the system. I highly doubt spraying that in there was going to do any more than possibly foul plugs, um, which you can ruin your plugs, flood your engine, you know, so anyway, um, it, I'm not going to edit the video too much if I don't have to because I just kind of want to show from start to beginning, starting it, letting it run, and, and you can see for yourself 
how really easily it started this, this spring. I probably should have done this before the winterizing, but in light of everything I just told you, um, I thought I'd get the can out and read it. And it, it says direction, step one, start engine and remove air filter. Spray, step two, spray fogging oil into it, air intakes of running engine. Step three, shut engine off after 10 seconds. Step four, remove spark plugs. Step five, attach extension, attach extension tube and spray fogging oil to each cylinder for three seconds. Step six, replace the spark plugs. This contains petroleum oils, butane, and propane. And for what it's worth, when I was doing research on YouTube, I found one guy, shop, whatever it was, uh, I'm pretty sure he worked at a boat shop, that said if you're spraying this until the smoke is coming out of the exhaust, then you're burning everything off that you just sprayed in, thereby possibly defeating what you just did. And clearly in the instructions it says nothing about spraying it until it kills the engine like most of the YouTube videos I saw did and said to do. So take that for what it's worth. And this is the instructions on Stable. Maybe it's different on other ones. So we're going to start the boats after winterizing them last winter. It's uh, near the end of April and we're going to get them going for the, the season. Yeah. Oh, it's flooding everywhere. 